So let's look at our first case history. As always, we'll follow a six-step analysis process, and the first step is to familiarize ourselves with the equipment. In this case, we are analyzing for the first time an overhung fan that is a critical piece of equipment. It is used to remove solids from the gaseous emissions of a scrubber stack. Operating for more than just a few minutes without the fan would violate environmental regulations governing the site. So even though there are secondary systems, the failure of this fan forces a production shutdown. The scrubbing process works like this. As the fan blades pass through the gaseous effluent, large quantities of chilled water are showered over the fan. The combination of the fan blades, the water, and condensation caused by the temperature of the water will serve to capture a very high percentage of the solids. They are carried by the falling water to a collection point in the base of the stack. Now let's determine the important speeds and frequencies, step two. Of course, we would expect the rotating shaft to generate a one times frequency and it is turning at 748 RPMs. We'll convert RPMs to cycles per second or hertz by dividing 748 by 60 seconds to get a one times speed of 12.47 hertz. We would also expect with sensitive vibration equipment to detect the pass of each blade. Since there are six blades and they are turning at 12.47 cycles per second, we could expect to find a blade pass frequency of 74.82 hertz. Here we see a vibration spectrum taken with no water flowing to the fan, step 3. When we locate the one times at 12.47 Hz, we find a very low amplitude. Now we'll find the blade pass frequency, step 4. By placing the cursor on the first distinct peak to the right of the one times, we find a frequency of 74.80 Hz which is very close to our calculated blade pass frequency of 74.82 Hz, and we know we have identified the blade pass. So far, a low amplitude one times and a blade pass frequency are very much what we would expect to find, which is step 5. But when we place the cursor on the blade pass, the software identified harmonic frequencies with a high amplitude peak at two times the blade pass frequency. Because the blade pass harmonics could not be readily explained, resonance was suspected. Resonance is not uncommon with fans, but let's not draw conclusions yet. For now, let's continue to look for a problem somehow related to blade pass. When we begin to add a partial flow of water, we see a marked increase in the amplitude of both the blade pass frequency and the two times harmonics. By the time we reach 100% water flow across the fan, the two times harmonic, which now reaches above 0.3 inches per second, has become so violent as to mask the blade pass frequency completely. Because resonance was suspected, additional braces were welded to the fan casing to stiffen the assembly, but they did nothing to quiet the vibration. The evidence suggests that the vibration in the fan increases as the flow of water increases, and it appears unrelated to the turning speed of the shaft, which remains constant. We also know that the fundamental frequency, in this case the blade pass frequency, is the source of the harmonics. Finally, the manufacturer was contacted, step 6. Numbers were rechecked and the fan blades were found to be undersized. The two times blade pass vibration detected when no water was flowing was probably a flexing of the blades, so it's possible that the fan was on the verge of resonance. When the water was added, the blades could not tolerate the force. A more rigid blade was installed. You'll remember that resonance was a factor in the demise of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Resonance, simply stated, is a condition in which vibration levels increase dramatically because an object is being bombarded with a vibration at its own natural frequency. We should encourage you not to be too quick in blaming vibrations on resonance simply because the vibrations are difficult to explain.
but resonance does seem to contribute to a noticeable percentage of fan problems. The popular explanation for fan resonance is that fan casings and air handling plenums are naturally susceptible to vibration because of their construction. They are made of relatively thin, lightweight sheet metal. They are lightly supported and braced, and they enclose large volumes of rapidly moving air. While there is truth in these statements, resonance problems can be solved. To do so, you will have to identify the particular vibration that is causing the resonance 